I have one little tidbit for you here. Again, this video is, you know, you can't really see what's going on. I get it. I know I'm going to get comments anyway. I'll have to describe to you what's happening, but years ago I made with some friends about a 12 foot rocket and we made several and we tried to take pictures of Los Angeles uh, from here <laughs> and we, we actually did pretty good. Um, but this is a, a failure and in this in this video you'll you'll may be able to tell that we had a fuse and then there was a igniter the igniter fell out and then there was two stages one stage had explosive bolts to separate uh and it the, it hadn't launched it still separated the rocket spun is bouncing off some apple trees in the dark it exploded behind my subaru and it was crazy it's 20 years ago now i thought i think it's probably safe that i can share it uh, so anyway, uh, I'll do a little bit of voice narration to help you see what's happening. Uh, but, and it's a little bit embarrassing, but anyway, it's still kind of fun. So I, I hope you enjoy it. Take care. Bye. -bye. Okay. The fuses are lit. Seen here is a rocket. It's two sections, about four feet tall. The fuse are manual fuses, and they are lit. So, so we have one there. Oh, one of these didn't. One of the fuses didn't light. Oh, the upper stage. Come on, Phil. You're burning down below, Phil. Friend Phil is trying to light these fuses, and it's about to take off in a moment, matter of seconds. Yeah. Hey, guys. Bill, what do you got? Someone timing this? All right. Yeah. All, oh. all are lit. <laughs> that was close. That was all really damn close, close, guys. All the fuses lit. The parachute one didn't go for a second, so. Oh. Everybody stay clear enough. Is this clear enough? Why is the bottom on fire? What's burning on the bottom? Just that, that paper towel, man. Sorry. Yeah. Long drive home. <laughs> long drive home. It's actually not good that it's burning here down below because the igniter is about to fall out. Did anyone start a clock? Go inside now, Phil. Hold on. Hold I on. hear it. There we go. That's the igniter. That's the Oh. What the hell just happened? Something down there. Oh, so now the second stage is going to fire? So it's at this point that it dawns on us that the rocket has got two stages, and the first stage is not going to fire. But the second stage has explosive bolts in it we've packed with C4, and they're going to explode out, and then the second stage is going to burn all of its propellant. And we don't know what's going to happen. So if you ever heard the uh, saying, excuse my French here, I didn't know whether to, I was going to poop or go blind, uh, that, that's about to go down right now. And it was this thing starts doing some crazy stuff, which I'll, I'll just let you see. And it is a very scary experience. <laughs> the flashing light you see is a light we built in so that we could recover the rocket yeah, stage with an airplane the later. Paper towel itself, the Oh my god. Wow. Where is it? Don't stop the road. Oh shit. So I'll narrate this a little bit. These four bolts explode, and then the second and third stages go flying off and run out through an apple orchard. It's burning and it runs off across the street, across a highway, and then we are sort of settling into that for a moment. Quiet for a minute and it dawns on us that it's going to come back. Hey, and there's still another stage to fire, right? I'm going to replay this and show you that right here, the rocket comes back, lands right behind my then brand new Subaru, makes a little mushroom cloud, explodes and dumps a bunch of rocket fuel, <laughs> and then takes off. There's my car, it explodes, there, and there's burning, it digs a trench and burns propellant up the street a little bit. 
か You'll see a trench full of burning propellant here. There it is in the apple orchard. Whoa. I smell that. <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, I did. Well, that's it. We had to go back later and get the first stage out and, uh, you know, dispose of it properly. But there was a lot of dead apple trees that night, but no one was hurt. And there was no property damage besides some trees that we had to replace. But uh, uh, anyway, I hope that was a fun experience for you. Take care. Bye-bye.